Hello guys, my name is Diego Pacheco and this is another Rust video. This video is going to be about the builder pattern. So, although Rust is not really an object-oriented language one, it has some capabilities on that direction. And now, we're going to explore how we can do the classical builder pattern in Rust. So, this object is often used to facilitate, to make it easier and more pleasure how to create objects in Rust that are going to be used with structs. And to do that, you do not need uh, any dependencies, any external dependencies. As you can see here, no external dependencies. And um, now, let's go to the code. So, I have mainly one structure here, which is a struct called person. Parcel implement uh, has derived debug, so if this rate we can print, uh, we can debug a person. Um, person has a name, which is a string, has a age, which is a U8, has a height, U32, weight, U32, and has a preferred OS, which is an OS. OS is an enum, it can either be Linux, Windows, or Mac OS. OS uh, derives from debug, copy, and clone. And you can put as many traits here. Uh, this is still going to be fast. It's not bloated at all. Right. So, we're going to do impel person so we can have a full constructor. And we're going to get a name as a string, age u8, hate u32, weight u32, and preferred OS, which is an OS. And we're going to return self. Then, we're going to create a person like that. Passing name, age, weight, uh, height and weight, and preferred OS. Then, uh, for each method, I'm going to do this with methods. So, we're going to create this function, fn with name, and we're going to receive a mute self, which is going to be a person, and also a name, which is going to be I stir, and we're going to return self. And then, um, I could be receiving a string here, just for sake of um, developer productivity or make it easier, I receive I stir and internally I transform it into a string. So I'm going to get name, uh, self.name equals name to a string and return self. The same we're going to do with age, where we're going to see mute self, uh, age weight, and then I'm going to do self age equals age, return self. Same with height, weight, and OS. Then we're going to have the build method where we're going to return a result. Because either we're going to build something which is okay, or we're going to have something with an error message. And here's where you can do validations. Of course, uh, you could be doing validations here, but that's sort of a weird, I would say. It's better to do on the build method. So, the build... We um in my case here I just want to check the OS. Let's say I don't care about age. I could be saying if, uh, you know if we're passing like two hundred years for sure is wrong. Um, you know we could be checking for a minimum weight and 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 height as well. Oh, by the way, there's a bug here. Let me fix this. Uh, but uh, that's not the case at all. So I'm just checking in OS, right? Uh, in Rust, you cannot easily check OS, so there's this macro called matches, where you can see if these enums are equal. So in this case, uh, the OS that I have, um, which is self.preferedOS, I'm checking if that is macOS. So if it is macOS, I'm going to say I don't have money for this kind of uh, uh, OS like you know macOS. And I'm going to push this message. I'm going to do this push stir on the message. And that's how we can concatenate things. Because I want to concatenate this stir, uh, which is a string because I did two string, with uh, the value of two string as a stir from macOS. And that's why I'm doing this way. And then I'm going to return an error. Otherwise, it's fine and we return self. So we just need to do two, three more things. So now I'm going to implement default for person so we can have a default person. And there's another trait in Rust where you can use the default method 
Um, so a default person are gonna return self and self in this case is person. So I'm gonna put the name John Doe as to string h 40 height dot seven weight when 30 pounds and preferred OS Linux. Then I want to implement display for OS so we can print the enum and we need to implement FMT where we're gonna receive a view of self, a, a mutable uh, formatter and we need to return a result. So I'm gonna get a printable string here where we're gonna deref uh, self and we're gonna check. Uh, so if a deref of self is um, OS Linux, I want to return Linux as a string. If it's Windows, I want to return Windows as a string. If it's Mac OS, I want to return Mac OS as a string. And then I'm gonna write. So now I have a way to print enums in Rust. Now I want to implement display for a person so we can easily print the person. And he's just putting name, age, weight, height, and preferred OS. And because I have a display for OS, we can simply just uh, do self.preferred OS here. Then on my main thread, I'm gonna create John using person default. I'm uh, gonna build it and unwrap it. Of course, uh, the full person is valid and then I'm gonna print it here. Then I'm gonna create Mary and I'm gonna use my fluent DSL from the builder pattern I created here. So I'm gonna do with name Mary, with OS, Windows, with age 50, build and unwrap. Because again, the result is either okay or error. Uh, and then here we're gonna see Mary. And here, I'm gonna do a E flat if an error and we're gonna do person default with OS Mac OS. As you know, we cannot build with Mac OS. And this is gonna have an error, and we're gonna print the error here. So let's run the application. And it works. So see here we see John. Uh, we see Mary, and we fail to create a person moment is kind of OS like Mac OS. So it works. So that's a very powerful um Pattern, a uh, couple of um, impels here in, in some traits, you can easily do that. Uh, and it's very useful for your Rust programs. Okay, so that's it for today. I hope you guys, you guys like it. See you next time. Take care. Cheers.